If you have a Generation 3 hybrid inverter and your signal is a bit borderline or you just want to increase the signal strength, then you can add an external aerial. They're easy to get, I will put a link in the description below to the sort of thing you need. And in this video, I'll show you how to connect that to this. The first thing to do is to shut the system down because we'll be taking this panel off and we want it to be off completely. First, press the on off button for the battery. It's on the right hand side as you look at the battery system. Hold it down, you'll hear a beep and the battery will shut down. These lights should go off. Now we move to the left side of the battery as you look at it. This is the DC MCB. You just unscrew these open the flap and push this down. Down is off, up is on. Next we need to isolate the power for the inverter by switching the isolator to the left so the circle is off. You will also have another one of these for your solar PV if you have that installed. So let's imagine that's for me, I will turn that off as well. So both or all isolators are off. You'll see a toggle switch here that says on off. Turn that to off. So now the system is shut down under here on either side. So there's two screws that we need to undo using a three mil Allen key. So that's what I'm going to start to do here now. Don't lose this. Again, don't lose this. To take this off, you kind of pull it down and wiggle it a little bit. It will be deliberately stiff because it's an IP65 rated system. So it needs to keep it sealed. Give it a wiggle. It will be stiff, as I said. There we go. This is off. Put that down carefully. This will look slightly different to yours, depending on your configuration. We're in a training room, but essentially try not to touch any of these cables, although they are off, so should be safe. You'll need a set of snips or scissors, something essentially to cut one of these rubber grommets. So you will have a few cables going through these already. Effectively, the one where you've got six pointing up, find an empty one and then cut the top off it and we'll put the cable through. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm going to show you by taking it out, but obviously normally you wouldn't do this. So I'm just taking it off to show you what I mean. So now the cable can go through. Now get the aerial. Again, you can get these from many places and essentially feed it through the rubber grommet. So I'll just put it underneath. It's going to be quite tight because it's need to have a weather seal, of course, and just pull it through. You only need enough to reach this aerial here. So this is the current aerial. We're just going to unscrew this. So that's off. And then screw this in its place. Make sure this isn't too tight, so just push it up a little bit to give it a little bit of slack. Remember, you will have cables coming down here depending on your configuration. So it may be in front of the cables or behind them, whatever you've done, just give it a little bit of slack like that. And then we just need to put this panel back on. So we're just gonna reverse what we did before. Clips on like that, and you just push it up. I find holding onto the top whilst you push up at the bottom gives you enough purchase. So again, it is quite tight. And then you just need to take these screws using the Allen key and tighten it back up again. That's now back on. You can put this on top of the unit if you prefer. But what I would suggest, because these do put out a bit of interference, is to try and put them away from this as much as possible. So in my case, I'm just gonna put it there on top of the all-in-one next to it, but obviously it's a training room. If you've got somewhere you can put it just, just a foot if possible, or at least a distance away from the inverter, then the signal interference will be greatly reduced. So again, it will improve your wireless signal. Now it's a case of just turning the system back on again. First thing to do with the separate batteries is to turn the isolator on. So from the circle to the line, so it points straight up. That's the first step. Next is to go to the DCMCB. Remember, on some of the older batteries, this may be separate, it will be on the wall, but for the bulk of you out there, it will be built into the left side as you look at it of the battery. So push that back up, up is on, close the lid and secure. 
And now we come around here and just press the battery on button for several seconds. You'll hear a beep and the lights should come on. Switch the uh, toggle switch from off to on. Right, the unit's back on and the aerial will just have a better signal strength. It's a, it's a bigger aerial, it's external and essentially you should have the signal strength already improved without having to do anything else. You don't have to reconnect your Wi-Fi, you don't have to change anything. That's it, we're done. So thanks for watching, see you soon and please do like and subscribe.